Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add accessories to your rig and attach them. I see a lot of people not knowing how to do this. It is a very simple process and there are two different ways of doing this, which I'll show you in this video. I'll also show you an optional way of adding the same material that is used for your rig onto the accessories that I use as the same, I guess, uh, material values for a better look and a more consistent appeal. So uh, yeah. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is actually add the accessories to your project. So I'm going to do that really quickly. So I found my character model right here, which contains my accessories. Uh, make sure to click on split by group so that the objects are separated out. This will just make it a lot easier for us. Then delete everything that is not your accessory and leave the accessory in. Great. Okay. So now we need to parent this to the head. And what parenting the hair to the head basically means is the head will always control the hair's movements and it will still not apply to these numbers. It will just be out of pure following, a bit like how a child follows a parent around. So that's pretty much a simplistic approach to it. And I'm going to be showing you how to do this. So hold down on shift to multi-select objects. Uh, this is a good thing to know for the future. And to add it to your head, just hold down on shift, click on the head, press on control P or go to object and parent and just press on object and then once we move this around you should see that it's good uh one thing you should be mindful of is that you can actually remove the parents uh, by just pressing on alt p or object parent and just clearing a parent from the pop-up at the bottom clearing parent will remove that attachment clear and keep transformation will just keep the transformation movements that you made a uh, clear parent inverse will remove the corrections it makes to actually parenting so a bit like this now i'm going to clear the parent so i can show you the next process next process is quite easy and it's using constraints instead so instead of using random properties and operators laid out around blender so to do this just select your hair or your accessory that you want to attach to the head go to the constraints properties add a child of uh, constraint and click on the eyedropper right here on the target and go to the head and just click on it and your hair or accessories may be a little bit out of place mine is not because i've already parented it and it's already made those corrections however i am going to click on set inverse just for the sake of this tutorial set inverse just fixes this and puts it back in its normal place now if we move this around you will see that it does it you can turn up and down the influence which is a full property to be able to edit i'm not going to need it though and that's really it for the parenting and that's really it for the attaching part i'll quickly show you how to do the materials so what we need to do is i mean go to material view to help you out i mean it's a lot easier to see from there and make sure in object mode of course select the hair go to material properties tab and go to this little drop down right here and change the material to well the rigs material uh, for fluid rig it should be either fluid texture r15 or fluid texture r6 for me i'm using an r6 texture so it's going to be fluid texture r6 now it's using the same properties it's using for here and it looks more consistent and it's got that shininess that i need and that is pretty much it this is quite an easy tutorial for some and quite a hard one for others or just unknown for others i know i know this isn't really covered a lot in some areas of roblox 2 effects industry i guess so this is a really good thing to learn for future reference because parenting is used literally everywhere in 3d software whether it be blender maya 3ds max cinema 4d modo probably even embergen thinking about it houdini literally anything so yeah anything so yeah this was just a bit of back to the basics for people who didn't know i hope this tutorial helped you out and i hope you enjoyed it Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.